Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make a how-to video, and that is specifically teaching you how you can progress towards doing dips, which is an exercise with bodyweight training, also known as calisthenics, that is one of the exercises that you wanna master, because this is gonna help build so much upper body strength, works on your shoulders and your chest, your biceps a bit as well, your triceps, and just a lot of your upper body muscles. And it's one of those things that you wanna master, such as the push-ups. If you haven't seen the how to do the perfect form push-up, I put a link for it up above. Again, it's one of those exercises. That was one of the exercises that helped me transform my body within a year where I gained around 10 kilos of muscle within a one year period. If you haven't seen that video, you can search up my one year calisthenics transformation video on this channel. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what a standard dip looks like. And then I'm gonna teach you some ways that you can progress towards a full dip because a lot of people are not gonna be strong enough to do it straight away and that's absolutely fine. We all have to start somewhere. And I'm not gonna teach you how to do it without, well, not without, with resistance bands. You can do it with resistance bands, but so you don't have to go and buy anything. Yeah, you still need a place with bars such as these. Then yeah, you can save yourself some money. So the standard push up, you'd be up like this. I'm gonna put my knees, well, my legs bent up because otherwise my feet are gonna hit the ground as you can see there <laughs> so you be here and you go down some people will say only go to the point where your arms completely flat don't go any longer because you can well further down because you can cause some damage with your rotator cuff but as long as you're warmed up enough you can go down lower and obviously if you're going to do weighted dips you want to make sure that you're slowly increasing the weight make sure you're very warmed up and then do it. It's just when people rush into doing this exercise and their body is not ready. And make sure when you are going down with the dip, you do it with controlled form. Don't be like this. Unless you're going for endurance, want to burn more fat, I always do it with a medium momentum to tear the muscle fibers as much as possible. So then when I'm resting and recovering, they grow as much as possible. And yeah, I'll teach you the progressions in a minute. But when you're doing this, don't bow your arms out sideways. That makes it easier, but it's putting a lot of strain on your shoulders and can cause injury again. That's not what you want, that's not what I want either, for you or me. It's just not worth it at all. So, yeah, make sure that you bend down like this, and then you come all the way up the full range of motion. And when you come up, push up and through your hands so you can gauge your chest as much as possible. Really squeeze and push. Don't be down here like this, up like this. And this is really gonna work your triceps as much as you possibly can with this, and especially the front of your deltoids here. It's really, really good for that. And when you get the squeeze, that's gonna engage more your chest. And there's all different variations of dips that you could do. You've got the standard dips, which would be like this. And then you've got like Russian dips, if I remember that's what they're called. And so many different ones. Different ones are going to be working different muscles more so than other muscles of your upper body. So depending on what muscles you want to tear and grow as much as possible, you would do different variations. We're just focusing on the standard one. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. The easiest one is going to be get some bars like this, the higher they're gonna be, the harder this is gonna be. So what you wanna do is jump into it. So all you do is go like that. And I'm not jumping all the way up, because I can just jump straight up. Jump as little as you possibly can to make it as challenging as you possibly can so you can actually do it. If you can't do it, then you need to jump higher. So what I'd recommend is doing it like this. And what you wanna do in whatever upper body routine that you're doing, that you do three rounds of this. And you can do anywhere from 12 to 20 reps, three times in your workout. Or if you're gonna just do this on its own, you could do it anywhere from three to five rounds. And then when you come down, you could put your knees like this, if it's quite low down, the bars like mine are, and come down as slow as you possibly can. Control it as much as you possibly can. And that's gonna help you get stronger way, way quicker with the dips. So then you can actually do dips without jumping or some sort of assistance like resistance bands. 
and you could do this like two to three times a week really build up your base strength and over a short period of time if you're doing it consistently in the ways that I mentioned it's really going to help you build that strength and then what you're going to find over time is that this becomes quite easy normally I would have bars that are up here so when I jump it's way 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 harder these bars are actually quite low so yeah try and find some bars that actually are pushing yourself to your limit and then what you can do is yeah once it starts to become quite easy what you could do is what I'm gonna do now so instead of jumping I would lift myself up and down like this so as you can see I'm not jumping at all which definitely makes it more of a challenge and what you could do with this next progression is do the same amount of reps that I said with the jumping progression 12 to 20 reps three rounds if you're doing it at workout three to five rounds if you're just doing it on its own or you could even do more do some experimentation but to really push yourself to your limit if you're not finding it very challenging with the reps that you're doing then it's too easy so try and make it harder for you because that is where you're really going to build more strength and muscle mass and now we have a noisy plane going over our head not appreciate first world issues as a youtuber but yeah it's just the way that it works and this is really gonna yeah just get you to where you need to and what you're gonna find is with dips it's just gonna help you get stronger with so many different types of exercises with calisthenics or bodyweight training that uses your upper body strength so doing this consistently is gonna help you to do more push-ups and do harder variations of push-ups that you couldn't necessarily do before and then there is also another type of dip that I'm going to quickly show you this is an additional thing that I didn't necessarily know that I was going to throw in but there's also straight bar dips as well which are like this and I find at least for me that this engages the chest way way more as long as I push through really push 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 so normally I would do the straight bar dip to engage more of the chest. This one, the standard dip, more for the front deltoids and for the triceps. Most of these use the tricep ball, but this one would be more for shoulders. This one, more for the chest, at least from my own personal experience. And with the second progression, just like the first progression, when you're coming up, come down as slow as you possibly can to really keep that time under tension because if you're just coming down really slow, like there, I mean fast even, I'm not really engaging the muscles, I'm just dropping. So yeah, like you see the difference, control, 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 control. And the dip is something that you really, really wanna master and get really good at and very strong with because this is gonna help you progress towards a muscle up. And I have the how to do a muscle up video coming very soon. I used to have issues with trying to progress towards this and there were some things that I learned that other people didn't talk about on YouTube that once I discovered what I was doing wrong, I could just do muscle up after muscle up, off to muscle up. And like I said, you also could use resistance bands. If you're gonna use a resistance band, put the resistance band here, here, hold on to it, and then do it like this. So I'll put some links down below for a variety of different resistance bands. The thicker they are, the easier it's gonna be because it's gonna have more resistance to actually pull you back up and like spring you back up. And what you do, if you're gonna use resistance bands, use a thicker one that does challenge you with the dips you're gonna be doing. And as, as you find it easy, use a thinner one and then a thinner one and then a thinner one until you get to point of using no resistance bands whatsoever. And yeah, just those two progressions alone will help you get to be able to do a full, unassisted, proper dip. And when you can do dips in your workout, what I have normally done over the time that I've been doing bodyweight training is in an upper body routine, add the dips three rounds of it and do anywhere from six to 12 reps. And by actually doing it slower, you're not actually gonna need to do as many reps. A lot of time people just do it really fast, it's unnecessary. So yeah, just do those progressions and then do the dips. Make sure that you're coming all the way up, lock your arms out, come down so your arms flat like so. You don't necessarily need to come any lower. If you don't wanna risk, injuring yourself do not go any lower whatsoever like i said make sure you're always warmed up before you're doing dips or any calisthenics exercise for that matter 
and at the moment I haven't been practicing for it but I would like to be able to do these clap dips which should go like that <laughs> almost there we get there soon I haven't actually been practicing like I said and like I said it's going to help you progress towards muscle ups and if you're someone that wants to improve with straight bar dips you could do very similar things depending on how high or low the bar is so this is quite high very very high but what I can still do is jump into it like so for beginners you're gonna want a way lower bar but yeah just jump into it like so and if you got bar low enough you could actually lift yourself up off of the ground as a second part progression without actually jumping up and I tell you when I've done workouts with a high bar like that straight bar dip man it makes you sweat those gets heart rate up it's a real good fat burner And yeah, it just feels really, really good. Getting a good sweat on and feeling pretty damn amazing. <sighs> and yeah, it give you a nice good pump as well to really get your muscles full of blood. So they look way, way bigger. Got some redness going on because I've been rubbing on the bar, but that's all good. So just do the best that you can do. Be patient and know that over a period of time you can master the dip so you can just get the greatest strength gains and muscle gains from it as well. But make sure that you're not someone that doesn't do dips consistently because it's one of what I would say one of the four main upper body exercises that you really really need to do consistently to build all around upper body strength so you can just be the strongest version of yourself. If you're not planting hard, you're not training hard enough. And if you're someone that wants some beginner calisthenics workouts, I put some links at the end. It will come up with a square block, giving you a playlist of all the beginner workouts that I have. And I have new ones coming on a regular basis. If you'd like me to make any specific calisthenics or bodyweight videos, let me know. And I will make them for you as soon as possible. So as always, Leave your comments down below and don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on calisthenics, intermittent fasting, weight loss and many other different types of videos as well to help you go in direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and energy levels as well. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.